I don't feel safe with him. She was arrested on charges of assault from earlier in the night in which this videotape allegedly shows her hitting her husband. You got the keys. She was taken to city jail where she laid out her prescriptions. Then in great, well thought out detail explained her medical history. All of it captured on police body cam. I hadn't had my medication then. One. Yeah. Two. I have a brain injury. I'm not asking any exception to any rules. Yeah. But what I will tell you is I don't want to die in your cell. Hi. This is Eric J coming at you with Street News. No, we ain't professional and neither is this story. So look, 37-year-old Raukina Jones was found dead inside a jail cell after being arrested two days earlier for fighting with her ex-husband outside of a bar. So look, according to the reports, the medical examiner ruled her death accidental after officials admitted to making mistakes as to how often Raukina was given her medication. Jail records indicate she was over medicated. She was given her daily drugs more than once per day. Raukina gave jailers a breakdown of all the medications she was taking, voicing her concerns that being forced off of her medications could lead to her death. Hours before she died, she told the jailer she was worried about her health. She said, I'm not asking any exceptions to the rule. But what I will tell you is, I don't want to die in your cell. By the time Raukina body was discovered, rigor mortis had already set in. She went six hours without being checked on. I'm not asking any exceptions to any rules. Yeah. But I will tell you is, I don't want to die in your cell. Fifteen hours later, Ralkina Jones would be found dead in her cell. I don't feel safe with him. She was arrested on charges of assault from earlier in the night in which this videotape allegedly shows her hitting her husband. You got the keys. She was taken to city jail where she laid out her prescriptions. Then in great, well thought out detail explained her medical history. All of it captured on police body cam. I hadn't had my medication then. One. Yeah. Two, I have a brain injury. My main concern is my POTS syndrome. That's a syndrome that triggers lightheadedness and fainting. With your health issues, it's easier to keep an eye on you here. Jail personnel gave her options, including a holding area where she could make calls. Little did any of them know her plea earlier in the night would prove tragically valid. I'm not asking any exception to any rules, yeah. but what I will tell you is I don't want to die in your cell. In fact, there's other supervisors coming on right now. I'm going home, but I want to make sure that but you... Just, but all I'd be wanting is somebody to, to be honest with me the entire time yeah. instead of a different shift okay. come on and, so, and somebody else being mean to me because they, because they don't... Do you understand what I'm saying? I understand. I like, sympathize well, I with you. About it, and the one guy's yelling, and he's like, "Oh yeah, whatever." The next year, yelling. I I guy. address them about it. They, that's, they, that's disrespectful. That won't happen that's somebody else. Listen, life is very unpredictable, and sometimes we find ourselves in situations that we don't want to be in. Sometimes we find ourselves in situations where we're not in control. Rakina knew she wasn't in control of her circumstances. That's why she told the jailer, I'm not asking you to make any exceptions to the rules for me. I just don't want to die in your jail cell. And listen, if you can't understand that, then you can't understand nothing. I don't want any special treatment from you, bruh. I just want to live. I just want to make it out of here alive. And I could promise you, her ex-husband had no idea. When that police officer took her away, he was taking her away forever. But this is the gamble you take when others get involved in your business. If you and your wife beefing, work that out at home. Work that out behind closed doors. Everybody don't understand your relationship. 
And listen, we got to stay out of these people jails. Stay out of these people penitentiaries. Humans ain't supposed to be locked up in cages anyway. Listen, y'all. Let's work on controlling our anger. Let's work on self-control. We can't continue to keep dying in these people's jail cells. 